द सिक्स एडिशन ऑफ द पब्लिकेशन मैनुअल ऑफ द अमेरिकन साइकोलॉजिकल एसोसिएशन ए पी ए डायरेक्ट्स यू हाउ टू फॉर्मेट एंड स्ट्रक्चर योर रिसर्च प्रपोजल दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट अ कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव गाइड दैट विल हेल्प यू अंडरस्टैंड ऑल मेजर एंड माइनर स्टेप्स ऑफ राइटिंग योर रिसर्च प्रपोजल हाई एवरी वन आई एम हलीमा क्लिनिकल साइकोलॉजिस्ट एंड रिसर्च स्कॉलर फ्रॉम साइकोलॉजिकल रिसर्च राइटिंग्स In this video I am going to explain you steps of writing research proposal for your thesis and providing you free research proposal template for your use so please keep watching this video till end So APA is the most common style used for proposal related to the social sciences A research proposal in APA format should include a title, abstract, main body and references. There are many variation in writing proposal and you may get confused that what is the authentic format in this case. Well, for your understanding, here I would like to recommend you that to always go with the guidelines provided by your institute. Try to incorporate as much information as you can, but keep it concise, short and unambiguous. A good version of a research proposal must include the following section the title abstract introduction background and rationale aims and objective and the subheading include research objectives research question so the sixth one is research methodology and the subsections are resources ethical approvals budget plan of work and time schedule scope of study and the seventh one is references or bibliography so let's start to know each of them in detail the first one is title naming your research is an important part of the research proposal it should tell the user in like 25 words or less that what you intend to research and how you intend to do it for title i must say here as a working title the point is that your title should be clear but memorable quickly telling your readers what your research is about if you want to know how to choose an effective and working research title you can also watch this pop up link video available on our channel that will help you get 100% successful result the next one is abstract your research proposal in its entirely may be anywhere around 5000 to 8 8000 words in length so it is important that you give a summary of the entire document This summary is known as the abstract and should demonstrate to the reader the most important part of each of the section of the research proposal in around 200 words. It is often useful to write the abstract last after the rest of the research proposal has been written and fully thought out. The third part is introduction. So every research proposal should begin by introducing the subject area and the specific problem your research will address. so this set the tone for the rest of your proposal and is therefore your only opportunity to make a good first impression so so make sure that it's well organized and informative the fourth section is background and rationale of the study this section should provide detail about the background to the research question in this section you will need to demonstrate an understanding of the existing literature and research studies within the area of your proposed research topic this is to assist the reader to understand the significance of your research and where it fits within the existing body of knowledge a research proposal does not usually include a full literature review but you should provide an overview of key studies in your field doing this help the reader with vital background information helping them understand how your study will add to existing research the background section is a significant portion of your research proposal and therefore therefore should be an extensive review of the literature related to your topic so you should be able to discuss what the existing literature is about and highlighting any gaps issues or contentions that arise so you also need to be able to show where your research fits within this literature and enter into discussions on issues that relate to your research question the point of this background section is to demonstrate to the reader your understanding of knowledge of the research area 
as well as the contribution that your research project will have will make uh, to the existing research and knowledge the next one is aims and objective in this section you should expand on the title of your research project to articulate in full detail the aims and objective of your research you should be able to provide a detailed description of your research question the purpose of your research and the description of your approach to the research this section should be discussion around the research problem that you intend to answer or investigate your hypothesis the parameter of the research that is what you intend to include within the research and what you intend to leave out once you have established your research problem your proposal should outline a set of aims and objective the distinctions here is as follows your research aim is the broad expected outcome of the study and what you hope the research will achieve overall your research objective are narrower and more focused with each one detailing how you will meet the overall study aim if required you should also state the hypothesis or research questions that your research will gonna answer the sixth part is research methodology in this section of the proposal you will need to demonstrate how you intend to go about investigating the research question the methodology generally refers to the theory to be used to justify the use of the particular research methods that you are choosing to use you may use more than one methodology to inform your method of research the method describe the way you intend to investigate the question such as using questionnaire interviews focus group surveys and so forth so make sure to identify that the methods you intend to use in the study especially if you are conducting experimental research this will include things like whether you are using a qualitative or quantitative approach equipment ethical concern sampling and analysis technique try to be as descriptive as as possible which may include justifying why you are uh, choosing to use certain methods over alternate options you should also discuss the different methods you intend to use in full detail and provide justification as to why you have chosen to use this method it is also helpful to discuss how many participants you intend to involve in your research how you intend to find or approach them and how they will be used in your study now next part are sub parts of the research methodology the first one is resources so what is resources about this section demonstrate the reader that you are both suitable and capable of carrying out the research proposal you will need to discuss what resources you have at your disposal that make it possible for you to carry out this research for example physical resources such as research instrument personal resources such as knowledge of the discipline uh, knowledge of the area or community under study as well as any other resources that you have as a researcher or as a research team member uh, will enable you to carry out the research from beginning to its completion so you may also need to highlight what resources you still require in order to complete the research and also discuss how you intend to go about acquiring these resources so next come ethical approvals some institution require that any research involving interaction with human participants get a approval from ethical advisory committee or boards this ethical approval is sought to ensure that the researcher conducts research in a manner that is respectful to the participants and other human beings that may be influenced by the research process it is important that you seek out what ethical approval is required within your research area you may need to seek approval from more than one advisory committee depending on the institutional financial and disciplinary context so application for ethical approvals are obtained directly from the ethical committee themselves the next one is budget not all research proposal require a budget such as thesis proposal for academic institutions however if you intend to apply for funding for research so it is important in this case that you are able to show how much money you require 
and do justify the amount you ask for. The way to justify the amount you are asking for is to provide a detailed budget outlining what expenses uh, you predict you will incur in conducting the research. Exactly where and how money will be spent will differ from project to project and the size of the budget should reflect the size of the research project. Some of the main expenses that may be included in any budget could be research time, researcher's time and uh, human resources, uh, for example, other research assistants, transcriber, advisory board member, technical equipment, stationery, and etc. So the next one is plan of work and time schedule. You need to be able to demonstrate that your research is possible within given time frame. You may be able to define your own time frame or the institution for which you are writing a proposal may have a set time frame that you will need to work within. Either way, it is important that you are able to plot the intended progress of the project from start to finish. So if you intend to produce any output report finding, then they should be inserted into the schedule. So finally, a good research proposal will also include a chapter that outlines a timetable. The chapter outline sets out how you intend to structure the final dissertation, noticing uh, that what each section will cover and how it fits into your overall argument. The timetable meanwhile will set out by step by step plan of when you expect to finish each stage of your study and including everything from initial research to writing up your research. So doing this will show that you have considered the practical side of conducting research, making your proposal more convincing as a result. So the next one is the scope of the study. A common mistake when writing a PhD proposal is failing to consider the scope of the research. Remember that you will be working with limited time and resources. So your study should be something you can realistically complete within these constraints. So the, so the proposal should therefore include something about what your work will focus on and what it leaves unaddressed as well as any limitation to the methods you adopted. So the next one is references or bibliography. So choose your reference style as per the guidelines provided by your institu institution or um, and recommendation for your research discipline. For example, you can use APA, Vancouver, Harvard, uh, Chicago, MLA, IEEE. So um, the next one is APA writing format. This is very important here. Basically, APA format recommend that you type your proposal with a highly legible 12 point font, such as Time New Roman usually, and it needs to be double space. When you write a new paragraph, intend uh, it like, uh, or you can use tab key also. Your paper should have a, a one, one inch mar a margin for all the sides and at the top of each page insert a running head in the header. To format this correctly, write the title of your proposal in the upper left hand side and the page number in the upper right hand side. Your running head is limited to like 500, five, sorry, 50 characters including spaces. So if you must shorten your title, you can select the keywords. So uh, for downloading this sample template of research proposal writing, you can go in the description bo box and by clicking the Google Drive link, you can download our free sample template for research proposal writing. So this is all for now. Thank you for staying with us. I would like to announce that we are offering free online consultation across all our social media platform. So don't forget to follow us on uh, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. You can also send us WhatsApp on our number provided in the description box below. And we work so hard to bring these videos and information to you. So please keep us motivated by subscribing and sharing our channel. See you.